We know there are some good golf games in VR, but sometimes they cost money, and we also know that doesn't grow on trees. So to help you out, today we're gonna to look at two golf games on the Oculus Quest 2. Top Golf with Pro Putt and Walkabout Mini Golf. We'll look at some of the key features and give you our thoughts on each. So if that's of interest, Walkabout Mini Golf does exactly what it says on the tin. As you can see from the main menu here, it's like a golf shack and you've got a choice of seven different courses. And the thing I really like is it doesn't get much more complicated than that. So if you've ever played mini golf in real life, you'll understand what this game is all about instantly. No need for complicated tutorials, pick your course and away you go. Now there's more to the game than that, but first of all, let's have a look at one of the courses, one which I really enjoy, which is set in space. One of the things I love about mini golf in real life is that it's basic escapism, you know, it's, it's not like playing real golf, it's a bit of fun and you're playing on courses which, you know, are really quite imaginative. But as you can probably see from here, take that into VR and your imagination is suddenly ratcheted up a hundred levels. I mean, playing in space, just look at this thing. I'm so impressed I even made up a word there, ratcheted it. Don't know what that means. But seriously, as you can see, a lot of imagination has gone into this and I really felt like I was playing mini golf, you know, in Star Trek The Next Generation or something. The controls are super easy to pick up. Use one of the controllers, that's your club, and it will adjust itself to the correct length automatically. So it's very, very simple just to pick up and play. That was close. Now this is a cool feature. Whichever hand you're playing with, use the controller and you can actually see details about the hole you're playing and how you're doing overall. Double bogey, must be a bug in the game. Now if space isn't your thing, why not try the gothic course? Again this was proper cool, it felt like I was playing in Dracula's back garden. Which does lead me to ask, who would win in the game of mini golf, you or Dracula? Let us know in the comments. And it's time to answer that fascinating question. No it's not, leave it in the comments. Ooh, that was close. Aside from the amazing holes and the brilliant environments, what else is there to walk about mini golf? Well, as well as the seven courses you get out of the box, you can also unlock night mode. Night mode actually makes the holes more challenging as well. So as you can see here, I'm playing the space course again, but the hole is a lot more difficult than it was before. So basically, it's like having a whole new set of courses to play because you're in a different environment, everything looks different, and of course, the holes are more challenging. This hole looked surprisingly simple, but when I actually got down to putt, I found that the hexagon shapes were actually 3D, so I had to account for that in what I was doing. That was close. Other features include unlocking special putters as you play. There are 120 balls hidden throughout the courses, so you can collect those as you go through as well. You can do multiplayer, and you can have up to five people in a private room, and this supports cross-play between all platforms. So it's packed full of bonus features as well as playing mini golf. So I really hope that gives you a feel for walkabout mini golf. I think the developers, Mighty Coconut, have tried to keep it very simple and just make it an engaging, fun experience. That was close. That being said, now let's have a look at Top Golf with Pro Putt. Now there are quite a few elements to this game, so I'm gonna try and cover some of the key ones and hopefully show you some things that you might find of interest. Let's start with Top Golf. You can do this in real life, it's great fun, and basically you hit the balls and the closer you get to your target, the more points you get. As you can see, you can actually select different types of club depending on how far you want to hit the ball. That was close. It feels really realistic to me and you sort of feel the contact you make with the ball and it's quite satisfying when you hit it long or even when you're playing for the shorter holes and you sort of chip it. This is me playing just as badly with an iron as with the driver. And that screen over there can play different media, so you can actually load up YouTube and listen to your favourite songs while you're hitting the balls. Great fun, especially in multiplayer. 
Here's a cool variation you can play called the island. Similar concept, but obviously it's in quite a different setting. So it gives you another set of challenges in a very different environment that you couldn't recreate in real life unless you were a billionaire. Really? Mm-hmm. That's a lot. Okay then. We hold the world ransom for 100 billion dollars. Pitch Pong is another variation, this time with these sort of big sand trap type holes, which even I can't hit still. But I think this has got to be my favourite. It's called Cornhole, and it's where you throw those little beanbag things, and you've got to try and get it into the hole uh, at the other end there. That was close. So let's move on to Pro Putt. As you can see, you've got a range of really nice putting courses to play on, and it's actually quite relaxing. The devs have put a lot of time into the mechanics, it feels very realistic, and there are some really good features like being able to see the line that your ball is taking, and some of the contours on the, the putting greens as well. And just like in Top Golf, there are some really cool side experiences that you can play, Let's have a quick look at a couple. This one's called Top Pressure and you've got a limited number of shots to try and cover all of the numbers. That was close. That one looks easy but it's actually very challenging. Finally, here's a cool game called Quick Nine, where you have to try and get as close to you can as the target, and the targets change as the game moves along. So that was a whistle-stop tour of Top Golf with Pro Pup. Let us know in the comments what features you enjoy. I obviously haven't covered everything here, um, but hopefully you get a feel for what the game's about. So which one do you want to buy? They're both highly rated and it's very hard to choose. If you want a fun, immersive game that's easy to pick up and play, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend Walkabout Mini Golf. It does exactly what it says on the tin and you won't be disappointed. However, if you want something that's maybe a bit more realistic, but you also have the options of different experiences and there's a lot of them, you can't really go wrong with Top Golf Pro Putt either. So we get it, you wanted us to say buy this one or buy that one, but it's not that simple. The games are similar in ways, but very, very different in others. And I do think it depends on what you enjoy and what you're looking for. So hopefully the video today has given you a feel for each and will just help you to make that decision. And look guys, if you can, get both over time because you will find different fun from each experience and they're both worth having in your collection. So that's all from us today. As always, a huge thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And if you didn't like the video, please like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.